Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? It is a wonderful, beautiful day here at Triple B. We got a clutch on the ground. Another ball python clutch. And that means that April is going to be killer for hatching for us. We've got a, a sunset clutch coming that's going to hatch in April. We've got probably the most epic clown clutch we've ever paired and, and hatched. That hasn't hatched yet, but once it does, it's going to be the most epic one we've done yet once it finally does hatch in April. And this clutch as well, if it goes along with time, it should also hatch right at the end of April. So April is going to be a good hatching month for us here at Triple B. I got a snake right here ready to pull a clutch from a, a decent mama snake. I'm gonna, I'm, she's, she's not bad. She, she could have done a, a slightly better job of wrapping those eggs. She's got one off to the side over there just kind of doing its thing. But this is a pastel, lemon pastel, that is, um, scaleless head clown female. And it looks like she doesn't have any slugs in there. It looks like for a first time mom, I mean, we've getting good luck with, I, we have, we've had not a single slug yet this season. Not one single slug. I'm going to just have to give that up to the Freedom Breeder Racks. I don't know, that, that could have something to do with it. Maybe, maybe not. This rack shelf certainly is going to help us out today because it's going to, you guys are going to go sit up on the rack shelf so that you can easily watch me do this over here. Yeah, see how nicely that works? You guys get a nice spot right over there. You know, things are so convenient, man. That's what I'm saying. They're super convenient. Okay. She was paired with a pastel and she clown, our boy Bruce. So we're looking at super pastel and she clowns scaleless head. If we hit the top odds. But the cool thing about this clutch, here's my favorite thing about this clutch. All of the babies are going to be at least clown. I'm sure most of you know at this point, but I don't want to make any assumptions. Maybe some of you don't. If you pair clown to clown, since clown is a recessive gene and both parents are visually expressing clown in their phenotype that means their genotype is clown on both alleles so the parents have to pass on clown so if you pair a clown to a clown just like if you pair an albino to an albino or a pied to a pied all the babies are going to come out visually expressing that recessive trait because the parents must pass on the trait to their offspring if both parents are visually expressing the simple recessive trait so there it is um we're going to get her off the eggs. We're going to candle them because she's definitely rolled a couple around here. I want to make sure the embers are on top. And I've got the room set up well today so that we can easily turn the lights off very quickly. And I can use my phone and we can candle. And hopefully you guys can get a nice view on the, on the, on the phone. I'm going to take a, I'm going to make a point of making it easy to see on the camera that you can actually see the embryo. It's, it's, it's not easy, but I'm going to, because the, the lighting and everything, and the focus, it's like hard to see on my little monitor that's attached to this camera, but I'm gonna do my darndest to make sure you guys can see the embryo at the top and what I look for when I do that, because if you're gonna be hatching out some of your own ball pythons, um, you wanna make sure that embryo is sitting at the top, especially if some eggs have rolled around for mom here. So let's get her off the eggs. I'll get her into a little holding bin while we get the eggs going. And afterwards, as we always do, I probably won't do it on camera because there won't be time, but I'll wash the egg smell off of mom so that she can go sit back in there. And yes, to answer your question, there's there has been a request for us to do a, a maternal incubation this year. And we do have, we are expecting quite a few more clutches. Um, we've got other females that are set to lay. So we will be experimenting with allowing the mother to incubate the eggs. Um, I mean, it's not technically maternal incubation, I think, but it's, we're going to let the mama ball python sit on the eggs and, and, do all the work herself instead of taking them from her and putting them in the incubator and letting go of our need for control and just let nature take its course a little bit full, more fully than we usually do. So you guys can look forward to that once that comes. But for now, let's get mama off this clutch. She's a little huffy. She's a little puffy. That's fine. You're a, you're a good mom. This girl's name is Venus. Named by, uh, I think Noah named her Venus, if I'm not mistaken. And we'll just kind of yeah, we got eggs flopping all over the place. Get that tail out there. Give her a little check. She looks looks pretty dang empty to me. Look at that hollow belly. That is a that is an empty snake if I ever saw one. And 
I don't even need to palpate that. I can just look and see. <laughs> it's clear that she has no more eggs left in that belly. So, all right, mama, set you off to the side. I promise we'll take good care of these babies for you. And you'll even get to meet them a little later. There you go, good girl. Look at look at look at how good she is. She's not she's not like trying to bite me. She knows I just took her eggs, but she's like she's probably just like, what is going on? But she's also, again, being a good mama. Well, <laughs> being a bad mama because she didn't put up really much of a fight taking the eggs, so uh good for me. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. We've broken our streak of getting seven eggs in a clutch that we've gotten all season so far with six, but no slugs. Again, this is uh, no slugs the entire season so far. This is fantastic. All right, let's get these lights off and we'll do a little candle, candle deal so you guys can get a good view, hopefully, of uh, seeing the embryo on the top. Gosh, love it. Where did I put my phone? I, th I thought I was so prepared today and my phone is just... It bravely ran away. Bravely ran away, away, whole oh, brave Siphony. Where on earth is it though? Oh man, I thought I was all prepared for this uncut video. And here we are. Might have to freeze frame it just so I can. Really? I was just using it to adjust the lights. I've got the lights set up so I can adjust them from my phone, these, these back lights here. And I was just doing that. So, oh, there it is. <laughs> right, right there. Okay, we're keeping the video uncut. All right, lights, you guys are going away. One click of this, it should take it all out. Bam! Oh, and those purple lights back there. Almost had it. Almost had it set for perfection. Oh, oh I got these daylights on still, whatever. It's not perfectly dark in here but you should still be able to see these eggs once I get this light going on my phone and the egg up. We'll turn this thing on to super bright or super off. Super bright, please. Uh, there we go, that's as bright as it goes. And then we'll crank up the ISO to like 3200 or something crazy like that so you can easily see once I block the light with one of these eggs. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see what you guys can see. It looks like, see, here's the nice thing about this clutch right here for this purpose is that the eggs are not like super thick and calcified, so you should be able to see pretty well. I'll probably even punch in here and post so you guys can see even better, but there's going to be a little, where is that embryo at? Do, 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 I think that's it right at the top. The vein activity, the vein activity in this egg is not like super, or it's maybe because of the modeling of the, okay, this one is tiny and you, <laughs> It's probably going to be a horrible example because you can't, I, I can barely see with my naked eye. So the chances you guys may be able to see it on camera is going to be super slim. But it, it, is, <laughs> it is right there. And I apologize, but th that it's just, like I said, I can barely see it with my eye. So the chance that you guys are going to be able to see it on camera is pretty slim. Let's take a look at another one. How about you? I don't know, this modeled calcification on these eggs is, <laughs> it's just not making it for a, it's not making for a very nice, uh, whatchamacallit, let me zoom in here, zoom. I can't, I can barely make out the embryo with my naked eye, dude. Oh, see it was all the way on the bottom. But there's just like a mass, it's, it's hard to see any detail in it for, per se, or it's just kind of a mass that you can see in here, in a little movement, you can tell there's something a little solid more than any other part of the egg, right there where my index finger is. So, that's what you want to look for. Again, if you're looking at it with your naked eye, it's a lot better than trying to look on some dude's camera who's struggling with lighting on an uncut video, but this one is a lot easier to see. There's this whole like kind of circle area, 
around there that you should be able to see. And you're just looking for that. You can also, you can also tell because the veins tend to amass around the embryo. So the, the, all the vein activity will start, you know, the main, the main vein, if you will, will end up leading right to the embryo. So that's another way to do it or another way to keep your eyes open for it. So I'm just going to set all these upright inside of the tub so that I can come back. That one I found easily right there on top. And I'm just going to make sure they're not going to roll in the tub so I know that they're right side up and I can just transfer them to the egg box. And that's kind of a bigger embryo right there. Hopefully this is worth it on video and you can actually see it. Just one more to go right here. And that one is sitting right. This one you can really see the the black of the eye, or at least I could for a second until it moved a little bit and it's gone, of course. But it's on top, you know, it's m mostly on top. So as long as we got that, let's click our light back on, zinc. <sighs> get, uh, get this back to where it wants to be, back at 500. Crank on our key light. And we're golden and I'm sweating. Perfect. All right. All good eggs. Embryos accounted for. I'll put this up here. You guys chill there. I'm gonna slide this stuff out of the way. Delicate process. And since none of these eggs are sticking together, this is that moment when you really wanna use the Q-tip method or the, the Q-tip method. The toothpick method that I use. These nice plastic toothpicks that I get from, you know, whatever, Safeway or Vons or Whatever your local grocery store is, you know, support local. If you've got a local store, like a real local store, not a chain, go support those folks. Support local. Got to take care of our, take care of our local folks. We don't want this corporations taking over our entire existence, right? Right. Good. With me? Good. Fantastic. All right. Let's transfer one. Bink. I probably should have put these over here somewhere. I'm going to put all these side by side, and it's going to be oh so nice. One, two, three, four, don't you roll on me, five, and six. Oh, just inside, not touching the sides. Probably could have gone a couple notches over on that side to get it more perfectly centered, but you know what? We're not gonna get all crazy about it. <laughs> or maybe I will, maybe a little bit later when the camera's off, I'll go back in here and readjust them so they're perfectly centered. But no, as long as they're not touching the sides of the egg box, I'm happy, no condensation's gonna trickle down on them and cause uh, any potential mold or anything like that. So I think we're happy with that. Get our press and seal, give it the wham, bam, thank you. What the? Oh good, we are recording. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Slip slap, I was taking a bath. All upon a Saturday night. Rub rub some eggs in a tub. Gonna hatch them out all right. And there was razor blade and he was slicey slice. Oh man, that razor blade short sure slice nice. So I press press, I keep it in the tub and I go and put my dancing shoes on. All right. I'm going to go set it and forget it. Thank you guys for tuning in to the channel this morning. I appreciate every single one of you for doing so. Have yourselves a great day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.